Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's me. Hey, um, has it been forever? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. But I'm back and I'm ready to catch up with you guys on everything. What is going on? Welcome back to my channel. Oh my God, it's been what? Like seven? Where's my hair clips? Very on brand for me to lose them. Yeah, I think it's been seven months since I've uploaded a YouTube video. Oh my God, that's so weird saying welcome back to my channel. Hi besties, how are you guys? I hope you're doing amazing. Thank you so much for, let me put this on silence, sorry. Thank you so much for clicking this, for tuning in, for checking up on me. This is the video y'all wanna see. Where has she been? What is she doing? What's she doing for work? Is she married? Someone commented the other day, I got this really cute ring from Aldo and it looks like an engagement ring, but it's not, unfortunately, because you know, the good old Lord is still, he's still on the journey of bringing me my person, have not met him yet. Uh, and someone was like, girl, you better spill the tea. I was like, I'm not engaged. I just bought a cute, you know what, actually, manifest. I'm gonna just start putting this on my ring finger to feel the feeling of what it would be like to be engaged and be married, you know, so we could speed that manifestation up. <clears throat> God. But anyways, hi guys. I greatly appreciate you being here. Um, I have so much to tell you. So much has changed in my life. And at this point right now, I can say this is the happiest I've been in a very long time. And this is the best mentally I have felt and been in literally forever. I am thriving in work. What even was I just saying? Oh yeah, I haven't been on YouTube for a long time. So a lot of people are like, what are you doing for work? I'm gonna explain every single thing. And this is just the happiest I've been in a really long time. And mentally the best I've ever been. I cut out drinking. Not that I drank a lot before, but it was definitely fun to go out with friends and family and my sisters and have a little drinky drink and on my work grind. And your girl's making money this year. Your girl is thriving this year. And I'm helping you make money this year. Because if you follow my Instagram, I'm teaching women how to make pass passive income online. And if you've been following my YouTube channel for a really long time, this is what I've always been doing. I've made videos all the time about how to make money, side hustles. If you go way back on my channel, I did like most profitable side hustles of 21, 22, 2023, or 2020. Like I've been doing them forever. Um, girl, I've tried every side hustle in the book to make extra cash and I finally found something that works. Um, so I have two new digital guides and a course all about how to passively make money online, how you can purchase a product and resell it over and over for passive income. Um, I have a course on social media growth and I'm so blessed to say that they're doing just incredibly well and it has provided me an amazing, beautiful income because whenever I took a break from YouTube, um, you know, I've been on YouTube for a decade. I'm sorry, the sun is, the lighting is going in and out. Been on YouTube for a decade and truly just felt like I needed a mental break. Obviously everything happened in 2021 and I needed to step back and, you know, take my son out of the videos and just be present with him and not really have him in the videos. I didn't really have him in them from the jump for like money or to get Christian a sponsorship. I never did that, but I did integrate him here and there because he's my kid and like I would do a daily vlog and he would just be right there with me. But now I'm making a conscious decision to not show him as much. Um, and I have been for a long time now. On my IG, I'll show him here and there. You guys should go check out my Instagram story because it's so cute. We just got a new turtle and he's obsessed with it and he calls himself, he's like, yeah, I hope they're gonna be happy with me being their pet dad. And it's so cute, he's taking it so seriously. Okay, we're not doing that shitty lighting. We're moving over here. Um, so yes, digital marketing is just selling digital products, which I've been doing for literally a decade now. I know a lot of you joined my prior Instagram course, my manifestation course. And I love doing those because I'm teaching women with the skills and education that I've learned over being in this crazy social media world for a decade. I'm teaching back to you guys the education and the value that you need to succeed in your own life. So I feel very in alignment with it because it's creating stuff, it's creating a course and products that I love creating, I'm passionate about it. And my number one passion is helping other women to make money. I want to see you all succeed. So this has been such a nice way for me to generate income. Obviously I took a huge break from YouTube. I can be totally transparent that my income went like this because I paused all of my YouTube sponsorships. I wasn't making any AdSense money from the videos, obviously because I took a break and I was just needing, you know, a mental break. And I really said, I really prayed a lot. Like, God, please just show me what you are gonna lead me into next. What is my next step? Should I even be on social media? Like, what should I be doing? And I'm so grateful that it led me into this because again, this is already what I've been doing. I've already had Instagram growth courses and stuff like that in the past. So now, now all I've had to do is upgrade them with the 2024 PPS, which I created. I'm very proud of it. It's the proven profitable strategy. If you are like, well, how does this work? Where's the proof? You can go over to my TikTok. I've been implementing my PPS, which is the system I teach you guys. And my TikTok videos have got millions of views lately. They have blown up. 
My sales have skyrocketed. You can go look in my Instagram. You can also see all the women who've bought my guides and bought my course in my little Instagram highlights to prove that this strategy works. So anyways, I am teaching women how to implement a strategy onto their Instagram or any social media to increase their engagement, to attract the proper ideal audience members who will turn into paid customers. Um, so, and the best thing about it is it comes with master resale rights. I actually had my course, we ran it through an intellectual property law firm who gave us the proper legal documents to protect the course to come with the master resale rights in the proper legal way. So you buy my course one time, then you're able to resell it over and over and over. And every time that you resell it, that's $3.99 in your pocket. It's literally amazing. Everyone's talking all about digital marketing all over social media. And what stinks is that there's a lot of misconception out there because no one takes the time to sit and explain it. So I try to go on my Instagram and really explain it. Like anytime you DM me and all of my students will prove this, like try to watch, try it, shoot me a DM right now and just be like, Hey, I'm interested in digital marketing, but how does it work? I will literally sit there and voice message you back with 10 voice notes, breaking everything down because it's such a proven profitable way to earn money. But because it's almost like too good to be true, people think it's a scam or it's an MLM. It's not, I would never do that. I would never, it's just, that's just not in alignment with me. When you buy my course from me, you buy it one time, you get all the education, all the knowledge in there. There's so many video trainings, like 20 plus video trainings, graphic design, how to set up your website, how to set up your funnels, email marketing, social media engagement. I've done it all for you. Like you're getting a course with all the education in there. That's not only going to skyrocket your business and your ebook sales, but then you can just turn around and resell my course. And the cool thing is, you didn't have to do anything. You didn't have to create it. I created the entire thing. All you do is we give you a link and you just go ahead and resell it. So you pop on your Instagram and your TikTok and you tell people, hey, I have an amazing course on digital marketing, selling digital products and increasing your social media sales, expanding your brand. And all you're doing is reselling my course and you get to keep 100% profit of every sale. It is truly, truly amazing. Um, I do not ever get a penny of that. You buy it from me one time, it's truly insane. When I first heard about master resale rights, I was like, there's no way, like this is too good to be true. And then I realized this is all I've been doing for the past decade. I just haven't, hadn't added master resale rights in, um, which now I have done. I never get a penny of any of your sales. Like the person at the top of the pyramid, if it is like, if you're doing an MLM, every time you make a sale, the person at the top gets a cut. Like I don't, I don't get anything. So 100% profit in your pocket. No one really takes the time to break down the, the details and the education. If you click on my website below, I have everything there breaking it down if you're confused. Um, I needed to like reread about it and educate myself, hire the lawyer. I had to do everything to figure it out properly. So I totally get how there's a misconception at the beginning, but it has brought, it has fully replaced my YouTube income and more. Uh, I'm buying a new house this year. I'm so excited. I want to buy my dad. I am buying my dad, manifest it. Um, his dream car, Porsche 911 GT in August for his birthday. So follow me on Instagram because I'm gonna make a reel surprising him with it. And it's just gonna be one of the best days because that man is a goddamn angel and has done everything for me and has been the hardest example, best example of hard work. And I've always wanted to provide something back for him and help him in some way because he got up so early my entire life and put on his suit at 5 a.m. and went to court to provide for the family. And I've always wanted to give back to that man. And he's just such a humble dude that like he would never just go buy the car for himself. Like he wants it, but he can't bring himself to go buy it for himself. Um, so, you know, I got you pops, it's coming. So yeah, that's what I've been up to. And because I do feel lately that I'm doing so well in my life mentally, and it took so long for me to get to this place. I mean, 2021 was the worst, probably one of the years of my life. All that blew up and then I had a breakup and I had I moved back, like I moved to OC for a man. Don't ever do that. That shit didn't work out. I had to come back, had a lot of mental trauma from that. You know, she was in the trenches. She was, she was, she was deep in the trenches. But we fought our way out. We fought our way out, besties. And listen, one thing about me, have I done things wrong? Absolutely. Have I made mistakes and can I own them? Fuck yeah, I've made so many mistakes. But one thing about me, it may take me a week, it may take me a month, it may take me a fucking year or two. I will get back up and try again every fucking time because I have a little guy counting on me. That is one thing about me that I will never quit on because I have Christian, I, I can't quit. I've got someone, you know, counting on me to just do the damn thing and I gotta do it. So I had, you know, a lot of mental time where I just needed a break, I needed to go to therapy, I needed to change some things in my personal life and right now I can say 
I've been so happy lately. You can just tell, like go on my social media, you can just tell. I've just been so happy and I feel very grateful and very blessed that I'm able to use this entire decade of social media knowledge that I've had to create my new course, my new guides. I feel like everything I've done over in social media has led me to this point. And I am actually, I was actually able to create such an amazing course and guides for you ladies because I have done it. I have been in this game. I've had products that I've launched within the past few years that haven't done well. I've had launches that haven't done well. I've done the mistakes. I've messed up the web design. I've messed up the graphic design, but then I've taken the time to learn it and do the tutorials and do the research and fix it. And then I've had launches that were amazing and I've made like 50 grand in a month. I think back on YouTube, I made like 60 grand in a month one time when I launched my new Instagram course, plus a few other like affiliate commissions I had. So my total monthly income was like 60 grand or something. So I've done it. I've fallen down. I've done really bad. I've learned a lot of things. I've learned from my failures. And then I've also learned from all the good stuff and been able to be incredibly successful. And my mission this year is helping women get wealthy. That is my absolute mission. If you are on a mission to, where's my brush? Make money this year, create passive income for yourself and for your family. I'm gonna be the one to get you there. That is a promise. Even if you don't wanna buy any of my stuff and you just go to my Instagram, I have a little highlight where it shows Instagram tips. You can click there. I fully believe that you have to provide your audience free value over and over and over and truly educate them and truly help them before you will ever earn a sale from them. So if you don't wanna buy anything of mine, I totally get it. And like, I wouldn't either the first time I heard of someone, I would they would need to earn my trust. People buy from people they know, like, and trust. So um, go over to my IG. I have free tips every single day on growing your own social media, increasing your engagement. I would be love, I would be love. I'm talking fast today. I would love to help you, I'd be honored. Um, so yeah, we have a busy work day. My son is at school. I'm about to make a bagel and eat up and then get upstairs and get my work done. So let's speed through the rest of this. And then I'm going to show you guys what my new days look like. finish on these whiteboards. I completely ran out of space. So I'm going to go downstairs onto my desk where it's more comfortable and I'm going to grab these papers about, I still have about six pages of this brain dump that I couldn't fit on the whiteboard. So I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the information into a file in my computer and then I can go ahead and organize all of this. This is a great tip if you guys want to create a course or a guide or whatever, do a brain dump. I put numbers on everything so I know which module, what content is going in which module and then I have like sub stuff. I'll put like a little bulletin um, and then, yeah, so I just, the brain dump and then everything here, if there's like a sub module, I'll put an arrow really just helps me to organize my thoughts because sometimes I can be a bit scatterbrained, but I completely ran out of room. So we're going to go downstairs and we're going to organize the rest of this brain dump into a file on my computer. A million people in the crowd, but I only see your face in all the lights. I done for now. I, now I have to go and get my son. I try to get all my work done before he gets off school so I can be very present with him when I pick him up. That's a huge thing I'm working on to not to be on my phone when I'm with Christian. Just be so present with him. We got to get his homework done. Usually we come home. He has tutoring for an hour. Then we do um, 
he has school, comes home, has a snack, has a little break, does his tutoring. Then I let him play out with his friends for like two hours. He has a bunch of best friends on our street. They all play basketball and they all, I'll like ride in my car behind them and take them to the park. I don't like him to go alone yet. He's not really big enough to go alone. Um, so I'm not trying to like invade his private space, but I don't want to be like a helicopter mom, but I'm like, you can't go to the park alone. Like you're still a, in my eyes, he's still a baby, you know? So he rides his electric bike up with his friends and I kind of just like hang behind in my car to make sure I can see them and make sure they're safe. So that's usually our night. Then we come back, we make dinner and um, then we do a little bit more reading before bed because he's already done a full day of school, a full hour and a half of tutoring. So I give him a break and then before bed, we'll like read a book. So just to do even more reading practice. So earlier I actually had my new bed delivered. Um, so I'll pop that footage in here. I asked them, I was like, do you mind if I record you for my blog? And the guy's like, yeah, for sure. I'm gonna throw up a peace sign. Like they were so cool. So I'll put that footage in here, go pick up Christian. Then we're actually gonna run to TJ Maxx and Marshall's because I'm having my whole new office decorated upstairs on Friday. I have new bookshelves coming and everything just to make a super professional office now that I have two assistants. Well, I have one currently, but manifesting, praying that I hire this other person. So I need a whole workspace up there that's like done and good to go. We're gonna pick up some little plants and some like decor things. And then now that I got my new bed delivered, I need some pillows and some, maybe a new comforter set, but I like to keep everything affordable. TJ Maxx, Ross, Marshalls, that's my jam, you know? That's my jam. So let's go get my boy and I'll meet you guys there. My son this is my grandma Susan she's a sweetie she's only 75 <laughs> and I just wanted to see what advice would you give a woman of my age you've obviously attained wealth and success and you're a beautiful person so if you could look back at someone even my age and after everything you've experienced in life what would be your life advice first of all with any money you make I put a whole bunch away because in your old age you're going to need it yes and sometimes a senior can't make the money you made as a young person but be sure to save from every dollar you make yep. and then your life later will be just wonderful do you want to tell them how you saved a million dollars how i saved or how you made yeah the, well first of all i took in roommates and yes. they helped pay off the mortgage i always had a roommate maybe too and they paid off the mortgage mm -hmm. And uh, that was important. Then I also started investing in stocks here and there. Yes. A little at a time. You know, five shares here, 10 shares there. Yeah. And now I don't buy less than 50 shares because I have done so well in the stock market. Right. Um, and you do the CDs. And I do uh, certificates of deposit with any money that's laying around because in, you can get that for five months, 10 months, a year, two years, whatever. Mm -hmm. And you can get a pretty good interest, which you cannot get on your savings account. True. So you always want to invest your money. But when you invest in the stock market, be sure to think long term. Yes. Yeah. I that's was important. really appreciating all the education you gave me on that the other day. And then I think we should end with... And buy Your second faith. hand cars. <laughs> and second hand clothes. This lady has bought second hand everything her whole life and has everything been everything at a thrift store, pretty much I would say ninety percent of anything I've ever bought came from an estate sale or a thrift shop. I love that. And last thing, let's end with your tip on your faith. Oh, and faith is very important. Anything you ever wanted to know about life, raising children, being married, it's in the Bible. Period. The Bible will tell you how to live. 
From the moment you're born. Yes. And you believe everything you've attained is oh, God's I will. I believe God has done it all for me. It's directed me, and I was smart enough to follow. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> She's such a wise. I'm so grateful to have a wise grandma. <laughs> That's my girl. Oh, <laughs> Love you. Love you too, sweetheart. Um, I'm making an updated vlog. You're not going to be in them very much, but everyone just wanted to say hi. They haven't seen you in months. Hi. <laughs> Do you want to I'm 11 now. Yeah, you're 11 now. Do you have any message you want to tell people? I haven't seen you in a long time. Oh yeah, I got a trombone and I got a turtle. What's turtle's name? His name is Thunder. He's about that big. Uh-huh. I want to show you guys we're back home. Christian and I are playing a little makeshift game of basketball with, or baseball with his stick that he homemade here. So tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. Set. time I uh, where I left off in the vlog but it is now Thursday morning it is about well not morning it's about 12 I feel like I'm wearing this shirt in every vlog um, I'm about to do a bunch of work I figured I would just set up my camera and show you guys what I'm doing for work today I have a bunch of voiceovers and video trainings and graphic tutorials that I'm adding into my course the digital Bible I'm so 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 proud of it and I'm adding a ton of bonuses in there for you ladies so if you want to learn how to sell your own digital products online like your ebooks your templates your courses uh, maybe you already have an Instagram page, but your products that you're selling aren't selling well. Maybe you need to increase your engagement. Maybe your engagement is low. You're not getting comments. You're not, of, and if you don't get that interaction, obviously you're not getting any sales. So my course teaches you all of that. You can also resell my course for 100% profit. It is an MRR course. I went through an intellectual property law firm to have all the legal rights to do that. And um, I'm adding a bunch of bonuses in there today. So I, I've already been doing a bunch of work this morning on Kajabi. I forgot to get my camera out and film this morning for you guys when I started all my work, but it is now 1225. I am doing a video here on setting up a brand new Instagram account on day one and how you can create a profitable and keyword heavy username to attract the proper audience to your page who will then buy your products. And then I am also doing a video training today on the golden ticket IG bio formula, which again will drive sales and allow you to get the proper people to your Instagram to buy your products and engage and have a beautiful loyal community so I'm doing a few voiceovers today and I've done a few video trainings. It's usually in my course, it's 99% me on video, teaching you guys everything. I'll show you an example. Um, you guys know I love to be on video just like this. I love showing my face. I feel like emotion and some, having something visual really connects with people very well. So most of my trainings are like this. Like if you join the course, you'll see me on video walking you through. I know a lot of other people sell digital stuff where they just put up like a PowerPoint on the screen or, and then they just like do a voiceover. I don't really like that because I've been on YouTube for so long. I feel like sharing my face and being visual that's just um, what I love doing. And like when I buy a course from someone on any topic, I love to see that person on camera walking me through. I'm such a visual person. So most of my course is all visual, um, but I do have to throw in a few graphics and a few like um, stuff like this. Like I have some Venn diagrams and some stuff to really help you ladies. Um, so a few things I do have to add in a voiceover for. So it is 1226, I have to pick up, I have to leave here at two on the dot to pick up little man from school. So I'm gonna do a few voiceovers and then go upstairs and record a few more one-on-one -on -one videos. So, you know, the day seems like it's just going by fast. So we gotta go. So like we said, your messaging needs to be incredibly clear. I have some examples for you here on how you should create your new Instagram username, how you need to make it very keyword heavy and how you need to make your messaging extremely clear from the very first time someone comes to your Instagram profile, they should know what you offer and how you can serve them. Again, because your Instagram is not about you, it is about the education and value that you provide and how you can serve your audience, how you can solve their problem. They are looking for their problem to be solved. That is why these niches like digital marketing, making money at home, getting healthy, losing weight, that's why those niches are so, so profitable because you are solving that person's problem. Good. i
about it. I didn't know how much I wanted to do YouTube this year just because, you know, I took a break for a while to be more present and just, just needed a mental break. But because I am doing so well in my business this year, I figured that making an entire YouTube series on how I run my business and just everything within that would be so, so interesting for you guys because I didn't really know how I wanted to continue YouTube, like what I wanted to film. I love watching other people's series. Like I love loved watching the Shane and Jeffrey series where they did the makeup palettes and you saw all of the behind the scenes work stuff. I find that super interesting. I know a lot of you watching want to grow your social media audience and your platform and maybe seeing someone else, how they do it is gonna be interesting for you. So this is the first episode of my new series road to a million if you follow me on instagram you know that my goal for 2024 is to make a million dollars here within this calendar year just through my digital products my youtube and tiktok income will be separate but just specifically through my digital bible course and my guides i i don't even want to say want to i am making a million dollars this year and i'm taking you guys along with me on every step of that journey and i think it's going to be such a fun series for you to watch here on my channel every week because I am gonna show exactly how I run my business, what I'm doing. I have a new assistant starting this upcoming Wednesday, which I'm really, really excited about. I'll be showing you like me working on the computer, doing like my brain dumps, how I navigate my social media, apps that I use, editing programs that I use. It's really gonna be kind of like my old series on YouTube where I shared like what I did every day and how I ran my social media business. But now that my digital marketing business is absolutely thriving, there are so many new systems that I've put into place um, so many things that I do every month, like with multiple websites where I run my business and it's just so much information. And I feel like that'll be such a cool series for you to, you guys to watch. So every week on YouTube, you can expect a video on my channel, at least one a week. They're going to be a lot longer around 40 minutes to an hour, kind of like that last one was, um, I'll show you an entire vlog of the past week. So I'll film the entire past week and then upload it, film another week, upload it. So you'll get one episode a week and it will show you how I run my business, um, how I connect with all of my students, the success that they're having in my course. Um, and it's gonna be really fun. I'm gonna check in with you and give you 100% honest um, screenshots and like proof on the computer of how much I'm making. For me to make a million dollars by the end of this calendar year, I need to make $3,333.33 every single day. So I'll show you at the end of the day as we're in the vlogs, like, okay, this is where we're at. Like last night I was at like $2,800 of revenue and I needed to get to that 3,300 mark in order to hit the million dollar goal. So I was like hustling last night and talking to people on Instagram and voice messaging my clients and just doing whatever it took to get to that goal. And of course, some days are gonna be lower, some are gonna be higher. I could maybe make two grand in a day, but then a few days later I might make six or seven in one day. So however it evens out, I don't care. As long as by the end of this year, I have hit 1 million in revenue with my digital products business. So I'm super excited. Please let me know if you're excited. It's gonna take me a ton of work to film these videos because they are gonna be super long, like hour long videos. And I wanna make sure that you guys like them and you want this content. So give me a thumbs up if you like this, if you like this idea or leave a comment down below. I would so, so, so appreciate it. What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the vlog. You are sitting on my new tripod right now so I can drive and uh, chit chat with you guys on the way. So today is a fun exciting day because my brother came down from LA He came over to my house this morning and was hanging out with me and my mom for a little bit Then we went to pick up a little man at school and surprised him and his whole day was made I swear to God my son loves my brother more than anyone in the world. He's his hero They just have so much fun together and they're like little twinsies everywhere we go People think that that's Nick's kid, which is so hilarious to me If you see him and my brother and my dad all standing in a line the jeans are so strong It's unreal how much they look like each other but we're going to Sky Zone right now to have a little family day. Christian is obsessed with the jumping trampoline parks, as you guys know. And they opened up a new one, or they redid one that they had 
um, over in Temecula. So we're going there today. They added like a zip line and a bunch of really fun stuff for the kids. And I took Christian last week and he had such a blast. So I wanted to take my brother today. We got the membership so we can go as often as we want. And we're gonna just take Nick and go have a fun little family day. But today we're gonna decorate my entire office. I'm so excited. I'm waiting on an Amazon delivery for my new desk rug. We're gonna put everything up on the walls. I'm fully creating this room up here to be a gorgeous office. Since my digital marketing business and course and everything has recently exploded, I need like three desks in here. I'm having a new assistant start. And then I'm also about to interview a new personal assistant who lives out of state. She's gonna be virtual. I'm about to do that interview right now. Um, I've been up this morning just working in the private chat with all the ladies in my digital Bible course. I offer free one-on-one -on -one mentorship when you join the course. I do not charge extra for one-on-one, -on -one, Zoom calls, nothing like that. We have a free chat where I'm in there every day giving you guys like advice and help. Um, and then the other ladies are all connecting as well. So I'm about to finish up some work. I have like an hour of work to finish up. I'm gonna do my Zoom interview. And then hopefully by then my furniture will all get here from Amazon. I have some of it back here, like these bookshelves that I can show you that I've already got, but I have a few more things arriving today to where like then we'll just have everything and then I'll just have to decide like where I wanna put it. So this room is not staying like this whatsoever. We made these bookshelves. Um, my mom made them. Thank you so much, love you. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them there. I'm gonna put a rug here. I'm gonna put a desk in the middle of the room. That's my vision board. It's gonna go up on the wall. I have all of my boards of like my work that I've done. Like this is like the layout for one of my courses. So I'm gonna put the, all that up on the wall. I got a few really cute pictures. I got some blankets. I got these really cute like tea lights to put somewhere. I'm thinking if I string these like in the bookshelf, like in there to kind of light it up with the tea lights, that'll be so pretty. And then I just put like my favorite books. We've got some picture frames. We have like equipment, ring lights, all that. So we need to fully decorate this. I don't think, my new desk is black. I wanted it to match the bookshelves. I don't think I'm gonna put my new desk like on the side. I think having it in front of the bookshelves would be nice because then when I'm filming my videos, my camera will be here and I'll kind of be like straight on. So I think that's best. Um, I put like my YouTube plaque up. I'm gonna put everything up on the walls today. We'll do a full decor. We'll fully set up this room together. I'll do like a speed clip for you guys. Um, but I think the packages, it doesn't say on the email, I think they're not gonna get here till like two or 3 p.m. and I still have to go get little man from school. So I'm going to finish up some work, do my interview with Sarah, and then we will decorate this office. What's love got to do with it? 
He comes around, better not that step down Come a little bit closer Yeah, yeah Come a little bit closer Yeah To all my ladies who got a brother That doesn't treat them right Put your finger right in his face And tell that man bye-bye I'm too fly I'm too fly Alrighty, we need to get this office together. Okay, so this house, as you guys know, I'm buying my forever house at the end of this year. So we're just in here for pretty much, you know, throughout this calendar year. And there's this huge bonus room up here, wood flooring, very nice, lots of space. Didn't really know what I wanted to do up here. Didn't really want to create a whole like bonus room with a huge TV and all that because this is not our forever place. And, you know, didn't want to necessarily do anything too crazy with it. But since my new digital marketing course and everything has taken off and I have two employees now, I definitely need a nice workspace and I want to film YouTube videos as well as videos for my course, bonus modules, all that stuff in this room. So I figured why not maximize the time that I'm here and make it super cute. So we're gonna start decorating. My new desk from Amazon should be here any minute and then I will bring that up as well. If it doesn't get here in time, we will do the whole desk portion in the next video. So be sure you're subscribed. That white desk is just from Ikea. It's the mom desk. I've had it like for years. Um, but that is not the official, that one I will probably move to my other room for my assistant to have her complete own workspace and have some privacy. I've just kind of been using that one for now, but the desk that I ordered is black. So my vision for this room is to have that rug down right here and then the black desk in the middle, kind of like floating in the middle of the room, because then when I'm filming and I'm like right here, we've got the natural lighting and we have the two bookshelves behind, which I think will be visually pleasing and cute and like aesthetic for you guys to look at. And then when I'm filming modules and stuff, I can just take this tripod, put this guy here and film like head on, which I think will be perfect. So we are gonna start putting everything up on the wall, organizing the bookshelves and everything that I got. A lot of you ask on IG about this chair. I actually found it at Ross. I know there's one just like it that is very expensive. I forget which exact furniture store it's from, but this is not that one. This is a totally a dupe of it. You guys know everything I find. Like, I swear to God, no, no matter how much money I make, you can always find me at Ross and TJ Maxx because they just have such good deals. I walked in and saw this and I was like, Christian, go get a cart. We need to snag this because it's the freaking last one there. So anywho, that's that. Um, I'm gonna move all of this stuff over. I brought myself up a little fruit bowl because guys, I have not even been eating or sleeping lately. I'm so grateful to have these new employees start because I have literally been dead. So the bookshelves are from Amazon. I threw a bunch of shit on them for now. I, it's not gonna stay like this. I definitely need to decorate them. Like I got these really cute frames, but I don't have pictures printed out yet to put in them. So just stay with me on the vision here. Those will be pics like obviously of my son and family in there. Uh, maybe I'll do like a little sunglass shelf. I don't know. I have like all my wallets and purses up here, but I also feel like it's kind of corny to like, should I only put business stuff and books on the shelves or should I do like a purse shelf? like? I'm not really sure yet. And then over here, I just put a bunch of books for work, manifestation, mindset, entrepreneur books. Those are some of my favorites. I might open these and put like tea lights on everything. And then, yeah, I don't know if it's corny to like have my purses up there, if I should take those off. I need to fill up these frames. Um, so I got these two pictures. I might keep these in my room though, in the master room to go over my bed because they match my new bed perfectly. I don't think this room will have room for those pictures, like enough wall space but they are cute. I wanna get this guy up on the wall. This is just a monthly planner with a dry erase. I liked that this one was huge because you have like tons of space to write. And then just a little knitted blanket in case I get cold up here. I thought that guy was cute. It was super cheap. This is the vision board that I made back in January. I am gonna update it a little bit. I wanna put my dad's Porsche right on the middle as well as our new house. So I know every day when I look at the wall, what I'm working towards because those are my two main goals this year is to get my dad his dream car. He's the best guy in the world and deserves everything. And I've been wanting to do that for so long. And then of course, buying our new house at the end of the year. So we never have to move again. So those are my two goals. I'm definitely gonna update some picks in there. And then I got a bunch of these picks, which I thought were cute, but they're all kind of like different, like a black frame wood, that one's like pink. I'm not really sure how all the color theme and stuff is going to like tie in, but okay, I'm rambling. I'm just gonna go for it and figure it out. Circle in an arrow heart Summer 
when you make me feel whole I wouldn't have to be alone No, I would never be alone No, I would never be alone Okay, it's getting super late. This is all I'm gonna do today for the office space. I have my YouTube plaque down there, which I need to find room for. I need to put the vision board up on the wall somewhere. And I'm kind of waiting a little bit because I need, my new desk is gonna go here. I need to move this rug farther to the left, take that desk completely out. And then my new black desk will go here. It's not here from Amazon yet. So I will show you guys that in the, my next video. My next video will probably be my full official, like final office tour. Cause I'm gonna get that guy up on the wall. I'm going to move all of these. This desk is completely going out. A black desk is going in. So. Next video will have, you know, the desk and everything official. I tried to kind of organize out the bookshelves as best as I could today. I'll probably have the tea lights in those little boxes up and ready to go and like on and twinkling for the next video as well. So it's a work in progress. I like the desk. I got a few of the pictures up and I think we're doing good so far, but the next video will have like my full official kind of final. Um, uh, I can't even talk. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Final office tour. So be sure you're subscribed here to this channel because in the next video we'll do that. What's up you guys? Um, hi, welcome back to the vlog. I don't know which part we left off in the vlog, but it is now 2.09. I am heading to pick up my little guy from school. This lady is riding my ass. Like, ma'am, this is a school zone, go slow. Um, if you ride my ass, I'm gonna go even slower just so you literally have to slow down because this is a school zone. Like, calm down, lady. Um, hi, <laughs> I'm going to pick up Christian from school right now. Why are you not focused? You're on a tripod also, so I'm being safe, don't worry. Um, we have to go and clean out my car today. We meant to do it yesterday and then we just got really busy. I have to pick up a few things at Target. I need to get these nails done so bad. I keep ripping off my acrylics because um, I've been typing, I've been writing back to a lot of people on Instagram from my desktop instead of from my phone. And for me to be able to type quickly and efficiently, I can't have those long nails on, so I ripped off my acrylics, but my natural nails are just so bad. Like, there's nothing to them. They're super thin, so I, I, I like to have some type of nail on, but the super long, like, baddie nails are just not, like, efficient for my business. Just have to do a bunch of errands, pick up little man, we'll see how his day was. I also wanna go to, go ahead go to Guitar Center and get some new hooks because I'm gonna be hanging up my guitars downstairs, which I think will be really cool to kind of like display them up on the wall. Also, when I don't have acrylic nails on, I can play guitar, which is cool because I've been playing for a while, but you know, when I have the nails on, I can't play the chords or anything, so I take like month, month breaks from playing guitar, um, but it really is such a passion for me and it's something that my dad and I enjoy doing together to like bond and stuff. So um, we're gonna go get some guitar hooks and we might actually go to Guitar Center and look at some actual guitars too. I don't really need a new one at this point. I have a beautiful acoustic guitar that I've had for years and I don't play them enough to where it's like, I need to invest in a new one, but if we're already going there to look for some hooks, it's always fun to like look at new ones. And it's so cute lately because my son, really likes playing his he has like two little ones he doesn't he doesn't take it like super seriously but it's so cute to see him on the couch playing and see him playing with my dad and then of course that's like a fun bonding time that christian and i can have together because now that i know how to play i can sit there and teach him and it's just been like really fun
Okay, so we just finished up at Guitar Center and we are now looking for a new couch. We came to Bob's Furniture. There's a couch that I really wanted from a family member of mine who we, well, my bonus mom's brother, we went to Vegas and we sat on their couch and we loved it. So I texted her when we got home and I was like, what couch do you guys have? And she said it was this one. So we came to look at it, we're at Bob's Furniture, but they only have it in blue. And I think that I want a dark gray couch for the downstairs room. So this is the only one that they have in gray, but it doesn't bend down and have like the cup holders. You're a rebel, getting into trouble You are kinda like a fire, like a fire, like a fire Unpredictable, so original You are never backing down, backing down, backing down That's what I like about you So dangerous, I get this rush When I'm with you, I go Alright, this is the first option for the downstairs couch Christian loves it. They have a cute little snack bar here, so he's living his best life with some ice cream. This is the second option for the couch. It's really cool because it has wireless charging in here, and then you can put like your cup holders and stuff in here, which my son will love. Wireless charging here, put like snacks and stuff in here. But I hate the blue color. I don't know if I would like it. And then that other one I wanted over there is the gray, but it doesn't have the wireless charging, and these like don't fold down, so this that one doesn't have as many like features as this one but it's so comfortable. So my son also wants to get this bunk bed. We have some friends coming to stay with us in June for about a week and a half. And my, my one of my best friends has a young boy so he could sleep in Christian's room with him. And then when my brother visits and stuff, they could use that. Um, so we might get that one, but he said, Papa, show me this white one. He likes this white one as well with the desk underneath, but I like the other one because it has another bed underneath. If you do this one, buddy, then no one can sleep on the bottom. You know, do you just like it for the desk or what? I know, but I want one of your friends to be able to sleep on the bottom for play dates. You know? Well, you probably shouldn't be up there. It's a floor model, babe. Let's be respectful. I do like it because it's got the desk, but it doesn't have the trundle with extra storage on the bottom. And then, you know, not another bed on the bottom. Honestly, I think I like that one better. Hey, we got the couch. I'm so excited. It is about three weeks out for delivery because it's a new couch and then the, the few that they did have in stock were already taken by other orders. So it's gonna be here on April 2nd. I'm so excited, it's so nice. I didn't really know if I loved the blue, but the comfortability, that's the reason I chose that one. The gray one was like more aesthetically pleasing, but the blue one is more comfy and I think I wanna go for comfort. And it has all of like the cup holders for my son's snacks and cups and everything and I know his friends are gonna love it. It's so comfy and I'm just already envisioning like having all my sisters over for a girls night and the downstairs is just really coming together and it's gonna be so comfy and I'm so stoked and it wasn't even that bad. It was like 2300 total out the door. Okay, so we came to the learning center. I'm picking up some new books for my son. Um, we have a few reading. He also needs a few new math workbooks. Oh, they have one for writing in cursive, that's dope. We also have these brain books. I saw these at Target the other day too. They have like math, reading, comprehension, all that stuff. So I want to pick him up a few new ones. He's been so doing so, so, so good with his reading and math. Oh, look at this, look at this. Oh, it's like holographic. So I think these will be great. Let's see here, multiplication, writing, comprehension. Oh yeah, this will be great. Let's grab that one. my guy I love it just breathe normally buddy it's a massage wow he's living the life I didn't get my first facial massage till I was like 30 what do you think come here let me see the back let me see this way 
Ooh, so fresh. See, don't you feel so much better? He was boycotting. It feels all fresh and clean, huh? I love it, so handsome. brothers but Aldi ended up being closer and it was only like a hundred bucks at checkout it's I always forget when I go there how cheap everything is each of these cereals <laughs> sorry I'm eating a cookie each of these was like three bucks if you go to like Stater Brothers these are like seven bucks now cereals getting expensive out here okay got some muffins for the week for little man everyone raves about this on TikTok like it's truly the best cleaner so I had to see what the hype was about I got two of those got Christian some multivitamins Got these fiber bars. If you have Aldi near you, they had this pack of water bottles for five bucks, which is insane because usually these are like 12 bucks each or more. So I'm gonna put away all the groceries, catching up on a little- Yeah, I'm a bit like five. But just Trish, look how beautiful she is pregnant. Like she's literally glowing. I feel like she is in her prime and the happiest she's ever been. And I'm so fucking happy for her. Well, do I know what day it is? No. Do I know where we left off? No. But this vlog is ending. It has been so long. It's taken me forever to edit this. It's probably gonna be like an hour and a half vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Come and follow me on IG if you would like. I will share more updates about my office, about my business, my work, my course, everything. If you are interested in my digital marketing and proven social media growth course, I would love to have you. You purchase it once and then you can resell it over and over and over for immediate profit. So if you wanna check it out, I'll have everything linked down below. Be sure to subscribe here to the channel because I will be doing these Road to a Million series at least one video every week. So we'll show you guys my new office and everything and all the updates in the next video. So thank you for watching. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Love you guys. And I'll see you in the next one.